Hi, this video will show you how to download the necessary software to run Osmosis. And the necessary software are ClickSand, NetRun and the GLPK Solver. So, to start off with, in Google, search for Osmosis and Flex Tool. So search just like the way I'm searching now. Once you've searched, click on the first link that appears. When the link opens up, you would be at the Osmosis and Flex Tool Energy for Flexibility Modeling course. So over here, scroll down, click on course content that is on the middle. Once you've clicked on it, scroll down again, click on Lecture 2, and click on Hands-on Exercise 1. As is displayed on my screen, you will be transferred to a page on Zenodo. When you're transferred to the page on Zenodo, scroll down on the page where it says download. So this is for hands-on one. Click on download. Once the file has downloaded, open the file, but make sure that this opens in your browser, like the following. If you are using Google Chrome, this should open up just fine. So, when you open the file, scroll down on the file to page 2 where it says clicksandinstaller.exe. So firstly, we're going to install clicksand. Click on the link that is attached to this. So if you click on it, it will transfer you. As you can see, a download is being made of 41 megabytes. When doing such a download, you could get a message that says that the file could be dangerous. In that case, click on the small arrow that is going to come up on the screen and click on keep. So, just to show you, the arrow that I mean, that I'm talking about, can be found over here on the hands-on. So, this is after you've clicked on download ClickSand software XEA, you might get this message. So in this case, you click on this little arrow over here and click on keep. Once that is downloaded, double click on the installer. You will get such a message. Click over here, yes. Over here, you click on I agree and you click on install. Once completed, click on close. Just so that you know, it might be that the firewall settings on your computer are set up differently. So, when you've double clicked on the installer, you might get the following message. It will look like this, saying Windows protected your PC. In this case, you need to click on more info as shown over here. And once you've clicked on the more info, you will get this page and over here you will click on run anyway then the instructions are the same as what we just did so you would click on yes you would click on I agree you would click on install and you would click on close after the clicksand software has been installed we need to see if it works to check whether this has installed go on this PC Local Disk C, Program Files, 
and here you'll see a folder named ClickSend. Go into the folder. When you're in the folder, click on ClickSend XEE. So it looks like this. You should get such a screen appearing. So over here, there is on the left a data source, a model, and three buttons saying run, open log, export templates. If this does not open up, you might get an antivirus setting saying that this file is dangerous. Just so you know, there is no viruses attached to this file. If you do happen to get that notification, click on see more on it and click on accept all. Afterwards, you should have no problem and the file should open up, click sand should open up like this. How this is used, we will explain to you in later tutorials. After downloading the ClickSand interface, we will need to download Net Runtime. So for that, go back on the page that you opened up before. So this is the file that we downloaded previously. Scroll down to the bottom of it, and on page 9, you will see an instruction saying install.net runtime with a link attached to it. Click on the link. The link will transfer you to this page. Over here, on the right, click on download.net framework 4.7.2 runtime. If you get such a message, click on allow. Once the file has downloaded, click on it. If you get such a message, click on yes. After a while, you are going to get such a window. It will say that Net Framework is already installed on this computer. Windows 10 usually comes with the Net Framework installed on it. However, you need to do this in the necessary case when it's not installed. After finishing the installation of Net Framework, we need to install the GLPK solver. So for this, we need to go back to the document that we downloaded before. We scroll down to the bottom of the document where we find an instruction saying install GLPK solver with a link attached to it. Click on the link. Now this will open up another document with the guidelines on how to install the GLPK solver. So first of all, what we need to do in order to install the GLPK solver is find out what Windows operating system we have. For that, we go to the control panel, then system, then about. This can be done by clicking on Windows, typing control panel, such a page will appear, and you click enter. Over here, we will click on System, and here are the details. The information that is necessary for us is whether the system is a 64-based processor or a 32-based processor. Make a note of whichever processor you have. Go ahead and close this page. Return to the file that had opened up from before and download the latest version of the GLPK following this link. You will go to a page that says SourceForge and that will say GLPK for Windows. Click on download.
Once the download is complete, the file will come in a zip format, which will need to be unzipped. If you go back to the instructions page, over here it says how to unzip the file. So in this case, we click on the little arrow over here that says show in folder on the file that's been downloaded. We right click on it and over here it says WinRAR. Go on WinRAR and select extract files here. If such a page appears, click OK. After the file has been extracted, you will see a folder that says Wing GLPK 4.65. This folder will then have to be moved to your C drive. So, if you click on the little arrow next to this PC, your C drive will open up. So go ahead and drag the folder into where it says local disk C. Click on local disk C and you will find the file that is located over here. Afterwards, double click on the file. Here you will see GLPK 46.65. Double click on it again. Here you will see two folders, one saying W32, the other saying W34. 64. Based on the operating system that we checked before, you need to click on the right folder. For this computer, the operating system was 64, so I just click on the file. Once you've clicked on the file, what you need to do is copy the path of the file. So this is the section over here. If you click here once, you will get the path of the file. So here it says C, wing plank, 4.65 GLPK 4.65 and what you would need to do is click over here once more so that nothing is highlighted and add the following so a bar and W64 which is the name of the folder if in your case it's W32 you will need to add 32 instead. Make sure that you do not miss the bar in front of it. So, once you have done this, you need to copy this path. So, you highlight it, right click, copy. When the path has been copied on this PC, right click. After you've right clicked on it, select Properties. Such a page will appear. What you would need to do over here is click, click on Advanced System Settings. Afterwards, you click on Environment Variables. What you need to do is from the bottom list, you need to select, click on Path and click on edit such a page will appear over here you click on the space below the last written line so in my case over here and such a it will give you the ability to type something here you need to paste the path that you copied before Then click OK. Once you've clicked OK, click OK over here too and here. Now, in order to check whether GAPK Solver has been installed,
click on the Windows Start, type in Command Prompt and open Command Prompt. Over here you need to type GLPSOL and click Enter. If the JLPK solver has been installed correctly, you should get this message that says no input program file specified, try GLP solve and slash to it help. This completes the necessary steps for installing the software to run Osmosis. How Osmosis can be run will show, be shown to you later. Please refer back to these videos if something is not functioning correctly. Otherwise, please get in touch with us and we will help you sort your problem.